We know that everything is made up of atoms. But what do we know about the structure of an atom? Think of our solar system. The sun is in the center with all the planets revolving around it. The sun is massive while the earth and the other planets that are comparatively smaller orbit the sun. An atom has a similar structure. It has a heavy nucleus at the center and very light electrons orbiting the nucleus like the planets orbit the sun. The nucleus is very small compared to the rest of the atom. Just imagine, if an atom is the size of a cricket stadium, then the nucleus is the size of a pea. An atom has two major parts. The first is the nucleus, which consists of particles known as protons and neutrons. The second part are electron shells, which contain electrons. Protons, neutrons and electrons are called subatomic particles. Let's get to know the particles that make up an atom. First up is the proton represented by a small p. It has a positive charge and a mass of one atomic mass unit. An atomic mass unit, AMU, is defined as one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. Next is the neutron, represented by a small n. The neutron is neutral. It has no charge. The neutron has almost the same mass as a proton, that is, one atomic mass unit. Both protons and neutrons together form the nucleus and are called nucleons. This is an electron represented by a small e. The electron is negatively charged. It is present in its own electron shell or orbit going around the nucleus. It's very light, almost 1836 times lighter than others. The mass of an atom is determined by the nucleus because the mass of electrons is extremely small. Let's look at the following atoms a little closer. The hydrogen atom has one proton, one electron and is the only atom that has no neutrons. The sodium atom has 11 protons, 11 electrons and 12 neutrons. Did you notice anything interesting? In each atom, the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons. We know that atoms have charged particles like protons and electrons. But overall, the atom itself has no charge. It is neutral. Why? This is because the positive charges of the protons are cancelled out by the equal and opposite negative charges of electrons making the overall charge zero. Let's do a quick exercise. Pause for a minute and discuss. Proton is present in the nucleus and has a positive charge. It has 21 electrons because atoms have equal number of protons and electrons. Atoms are neutral because they have an equal number of protons and electrons. The positive and the negative charges cancel out. In this video, we have learned that atoms are made up of subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. The nucleus is made up of protons with positive charge and neutrons with no charge. Together, they determine the mass of an atom. Electrons are negatively charged particles revolving around the nucleus. Atoms are neutral as they have same number of protons and electrons.